So now the music's ended, I might formally get started. And before I do that, I'd like to acknowledge uh, the traditional owners of the land on which we meet, the Ngunnawal people. And I'd also, in tying in with uh, today's theme, like to um, just to, uh, recognise the innovation of the Aboriginal people of our lands, uh, who have given us some uh, truly unique and innovative uh, uh, technologies and um, weapons and musical instruments and art um, and shows to me that the innovative spirit is something that binds us all together as one people. Now, my job today is simply to get us through um, to the end and introduce uh, the raft of uh, brilliant speakers that we have coming forward that hopefully will inspire you uh, to go back into your workplace and really make a difference. Um, firstly, I'd like to uh, um, just get uh, an idea of the departments that are represented here. So if I can have some hands up and just shout out some departments. I know the Department of Health and uh, is here. Human Services. Human services. Immigration. Immigration. Communication. Industry. Communications, are I hear? Yeah. Yep. Environment. Environment. Defence. Education. Education. <laughs> what was it, social services? Right. Employment. Anybody else? PMNC. Thank you. Just going to show that uh, innovation has to start at the top. Um, sorry, just getting up my list of things that Abby tells me I have to do. Acknowledge audience and ask audience. Yes, got that. <laughs> <laughs> so this is being put on by the Public Service Innovation Network. And um, I'd just like to get an idea of who the reps from the, uh, the network are in the audience and which, uh, and which um, departments they are from. Yep, communications, and you are? Hi, David. Hi Rob, how are you? Sorry, food standards. Food standards. Welcome. Hi Tony, how are you? Yep. Was it Anne? Hi Anne. Hello Greg, how are you? Attorney Generals, we didn't say that before. No. The shy type. <laughs> Hello, Peter. How are you? Hello, Danny. How are you? I missed the name. Hi, Claire. How are you? Great. Hopefully, I haven't missed anybody. If I have, that's your own fault for not putting your hand up. Um, so, the Public Service Innovation Network is about um, collaboration and idea sharing across the the, uh, the public service, um, trying to do that uh, nationally and internationally. It's about fostering that, um, that uh, spirit of innovation, which I think increasingly be is becoming important uh, in our day-to-day -day lives. Uh, we have an enormous number of external drivers on us to uh, become better, faster, more efficient, more effective, more cost-effective. Um, and innovation is at the root of all of that. Right, so um, the last thing that Abby wants me to talk to tell you about is that the speakers will only have time for one or two questions uh, from the audience. We've got a fairly packed agenda and as you say, can see we go right through to uh, 5.30 this afternoon and I think we'll fill all of that time. Um, but there will be a moustache twirling panel and I'm on it, um, and I'm told there will be a moustache. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, so, uh, oh, yes, Abby, I will be. <laughs> Once the speaker is finished, uh, she's assuming that I will then take the questions from the audience on their behalf, um, and I will do that. So, without any further ado, and I'm getting us ahead of time, because I had 15 minutes, and I usually use every minute I'm given, but I'm gonna move on and introduce uh, John Sheridan. John is from the Department of Finance. He's here to help you. Uh, and he is talking about uh, 
navigating the crustaceous period. Welcome, John.